the story you are about to hear is not all that uncommon, but never have you heard it told like this before. Our sweet friend, Senora Maria Garcia, has graciously agreed to share her immigration story of traveling from Jalisco, Mexico to Modesto, California. She tells her experience through cooking and explains how her family's recipes connect back to her memories of home in Mexico. Cuando nos mandaban a cortar la flor de calabaza, que nos eh, nos levantábamos y ándale vayan a buscar flores de calabaza para hacerles quesadillas. Y ya íbamos unos unos de mis hermanos iban por un lado, otros para el otro, y ya teníamos que que cortar la flor de calabaza y venirla a lavarla. Maria finally recalls eating quesadillas with handmade tortillas, panela, and flor de calabaza, which is a winter squash blossom from where she grew up. Her father, Antonio, usually harvests the calabaza flowers at his home in El Salto de las Latillas in Jalisco, Mexico. The vines bloom from August until September, making this dish a seasonal treat. Como es difícil conseguir aquí la flor de calabaza, entonces la, los, las hice de espinacas con panela, la que costumbra uno hacer allá en México, que uno mismo la elabora. A favorite local place to buy traditionally Mexican foods and ingredients is El Rematito, which translates to the auction. This open-air market is located on the south side of Maresto. Vendors gather to sell their products from produce to clothing. Rows of vibrant fruits and vegetables draw in customers. The scent of exotic mangoes and chili peppers dance in the breeze, inspiring all sorts of flavor creations to the hungry imagination. Today, there is no flor de calabaza available. Luckily, our friend Leonardo, a local vendor, is kind enough to explain when and where it is available. The season is short, he tells us, and we have just missed it. Leonardo filled us in in some inside tips, letting us know ingredients may sometimes be ordered ahead of time. We share a few laughs with him and he points us in the direction of the food truck court. Around the corner, to our amazement, is a truck with flores de calabaza, vividly painted across the window. We were not able to find fresh flor de calabaza to bring back to Maria today, but we were able to order a gordita full of flor de calabaza and a side of cooked flowers for the film crew to sample. Muy delicioso. Thanks to Reagan's Immigration Reform and Control Act of 1986, new opportunities were created for Maria's husband, Rigoberto, in the States. Through his job, he applied for a green card and was able to make a life with Maria in the U.S. They married and settled down in Modesto, where they've lived since. Uh, para venir aquí, gracias a Dios, no tuve ninguna dificultad. Uh, vine ya con un permiso, entonces mi esposo es el que me estaba uh, arreglando papeles y pues de eso ya, ya hicieron los 22 años. Though Maria has only been able to visit her family in Mexico a few times since moving to the U.S., her recipes connect her back to her family. Atole también. Muy bien. ¿Tan buenas? Buenas, buenísimas. <laughs> Maria's story is but one example of how food is an important part of the immigration experience. Finding traditional ingredients in a new place can be challenging. 
When the original ingredients aren't available, recipes are adapted by using ingredients that are readily available to them with similar textures and flavors. In this way, recipes and their meaning travel over time. Preconceived definitions of authenticity are blurred. Quieren que le ponga más queso? Más queso. Más hielo.